Today's review here on Jurassic Collectibles has been kindly sponsored by our friends at Jurassic Toys. If you want to get some of the latest Mattel Jurassic World products, which may not be available anywhere else in the UK, then make sure to check their website out. You can find it by visiting www.jurassic-toys.co.uk. We hope you enjoy today's review. Hi everybody, it is Tom back here today on Jurassic Collectibles and today I'm very very excited to be taking a look at one of the new Mattel products for summer of 2019. So this video has been very kindly sponsored by Dan and the team at Jurassic Toys. They sent this product along, along with some others which we're going to take a look at in some other videos just to kind of give you guys a taste of this 2019 assortment. So I will leave a link to where you can buy this figure in the description below. Thanks to the team, I'm really excited to look at this one, uh, and it's definitely one of the more unique products. One other thing to get out of the way quickly, I do want to shout out Kristen Sanzari. She is the lady who designed this figure. She is an amazing part of the Mattel team has been part of the San Diego Comic Con panel that happened this year and is a really, really great person uh, who really advocates for the best of this license. So, with both of those things out of the way, let's take a look at the figure. As you can see it here, it looks great in the box. It has got the open box design. If we zoom in and take a closer look, you can see Blue's head there looks wonderful. She's got this really, really nice kind of glassed over eye, which looks great. The blue stripe is painted really well along the figure's body. That's something we'll take a look at outside of the box. You can see the, the usual Dino Rivals branding. So we've got the T-Rex there, the Triceratops, Primal Pal Blue, Owen in the corner there. And if we take a look behind the figure in the box... You can see we've got some of her play features, which we will demonstrate a little bit more outside of the box for you guys. So really, really cool looking box art. If I turn that brightness down a little bit, there we go. You can see on the side of the box, looking face on blue looks great. We do have the Dino Rivals logo just down here. On the back of the box, we have got all of the appropriate uh, detail on how you can make this figure do different things in addition to the fact that it has got sound features. Interestingly enough this figure does not appear to include a Dino Fax card. I wasn't expecting it to because it's from a different assortment but it's just something to note considering it is using the Dino Rivals branding. And if we turn it around on the other side we have got that great Jurassic World logo just the generic logo which has been present across most of these products. So that is Primal Pal Blue in the packaging. We're going to open her up now and take a look at this figure outside of the box. Okay so here we have got Primal Pal Blue out of the packaging and you can see that this is a really unique toy and it's not really like anything else we've got in the Jurassic World toy line from Mattel thus far. So to kind of give you a little bit of familiarity, uh, I wanted to bring in the original Attack Pack Blue just to give you an idea of the scale of this toy. So you can see that this is one pretty big action figure compared to that version of Blue. You can see the dimensions are completely different. So this is really designed to be its own unique product. Now one other thing I do want to compare it to quickly as well, which we were very kindly given by a fan of the channel and a good friend in the Jurassic community, Dave Wakefield, is the original from 1997 at uh, the Lost World Baby Tyrannosaur. So you can see, comparing those two there, if we zoom in a little bit, brighten that up just a tad, you can see some really, really nice comparisons there. Both are incredibly uniquely stylized, but I think that they look really, really good. So a great comparison there. Nice to see almost a little bit of homage to a traditional The Lost World product within this toy. So moving that out of the way, 
we will now take a look at Blue on her own. So if we just bring her around to there, you can see that this is one fantastic looking toy. Really, really great attention to detail, especially when this is more intended for younger fans. If we zoom in and just get that face in focus, you can see that the level of attention to detail on the sculpt here really is phenomenal. Everything from the jawline to the little nostril here to that beautiful eye, which if we bring that a bit closer and just get it in shot, looks fantastic. That really does look great. I really do like this one. You can see the dimensions of the head look great. If we were to twist it around to the other side, it all feels very, very nice and consistent. And if we follow that line down the body, you can see nice joins here, really nice texture throughout. And that blue line does continue all the way down Blue's body, as it should, going past her thigh and through down into her tail as well. And if we were to then go down a little bit further, you can see Blue's legs slightly stylized in the more cartoony style of this figure, but she does have the sickle claw, the really nice texture details they've done for other Velociraptors, and then she also has got arms here, which are really, really cool. So these are movable, you can see up and down on the joints there, if we just bring that in focus for you guys. There we go. Nice texturing, good to have some posability there. And then really the rest of the figure, uh, as opposed to articulation, kind of ties in more to this figure's play features. So if we just get it back in focus, what we're going to do is do some of the little features now that come with this figure. So the first feature is the ability to rock her side to side, as you can see there. <laughs> and that demonstrates one of the other features. So you can see this figure does have lights and sounds. Well, I say lights and sounds. I said to Kristen in a message, I would say the two together in this review. What I mean to say is just sounds. I'm just used to saying them together. Lights on the Velociraptor would not make sense. Um, but yes, this figure has sounds. So you can see these really nice joints here, which kind of cover the thighs as you move it. And they cause it to make noises. However, that is not the only feature that Blue has. So you can also, oh, if I do it a little bit better. You can make her say, well, I say say, you can make her make different noises as you tilt her forward. So you can see if we try and get that a little bit more head on for you guys. It is absolutely adorable. And as you saw there as well, you can make this character bite. So if you want it to go, then it can bite somebody. And that is really, really cool. I'm actually gonna zoom in a little bit for that bite in motion. Hopefully we'll get it all in shot here. There we go. Let's just give it a go. You can see that is great. So a really, really cool toy. Um, <laughs> looks great and has some really, really fun features to it. And I think that this is gonna be really popular with both adult collectors and young people. I mean, obviously it's a lot of fun for children, especially, but I think it's really fun and it's a really nice stand-in uh, if you're not able to afford the 200 pound training Velociraptor Blue, which I know I haven't been able to afford. This figure still gives you a lot of play features. It lets you feel like you're training, you're playing with Blue, and it's a really, really nice, unique addition to the overall line. Um, like I say, the paint apps here are really, really crisp. All of the details feel great. You do have paintwork on the character's underbelly, as you can see. This is where the sounds come out as well. Um, no fax app stamp, but we do have the Jurassic World Authenticity logo. 
and you can just see that overall this is a really really wonderfully unique rendition of blue i think if we zoom in on that beautiful face sculpt one more time just get that in focus i would like to say that Kristen and the rest of the team at mattel have been doing a really really nice job with these products this is something unique it's a brand new uh, style of product and i think it really has its own unique place in this lineup so I'm really interested to hear what do you guys think. As always, let us know in the comments below. And if you do want to pick this one up, our sponsor Jurassic Toys has got it in stock right now at the time of recording this. So we will leave a link in the comments below. Thanks for checking this review out, guys. We will catch you in the next one. Thanks once again to our friends at Jurassic Toys for sponsoring this review of Primal Pal Blue. If you want to pick up your own copy of this awesome new toy, then our friends at Jurassic Toys have given us a 10% off code for you to use. Head over to their website and upon uh, entering the checkout, enter the code Jurassic Collectibles for 10% off your order. Thanks once again for checking out this review and have a great week.